I have been thrifting. It's been a while since I came on here, but I have been thrifting. And I thought I would do a little haul, thrift haul for you guys. Found some really cool stuff, some really great stuff for summer, for fall, or transitional seasons. Honestly, for all the seasons. So I'm going to get into it, show you guys a little thrift haul try-on. Going to little do a little try-on portion on one side of the screen. So that's what this video is all about. So let's get right into it. I don't even know where to start. That's how much stuff I have. I guess I could start with these two pieces that you're seeing right here two new vintage and thrifted purses this one this is a whiting and davis gray chain mail bag and i absolutely love it it has an adjustable silver chain strap so you can wear it at two different levels and I love the hardware on it. I think it's just very elegant and neutral while also making a statement. And this will be perfect for spring, summer. I could even see this for winter as well and for fall, honestly, depending on the outfit. So this is a very versatile piece that I am so happy to have in my collection and in my wardrobe now. And then this piece I thrifted from a charitable thrift store, this vintage Vera Bradley little shoulder bag. And guys, this was the Vera Bradley print that I always wanted, this yellow with pretty little blue flowers all over it. I'll put in the description the name of this Vera Bradley pattern, but this is what I always wanted. And it's just so perfect for summertime. This is a summertime purse, and I will definitely be getting some wear out of this thrifted Vera Bradley bag. Next, I'm, I don't have any particular order that I'm gonna do this in, so just bear with me. Next is this express skirt. I think that this is probably going to be one of my favorite skirts for the summertime and for like fall or winter with some tights and some boots. But do you guys see that ruffle slit hem? I love it and it's got that angular hemline. This is going to be great. I've already styled it with a turtleneck, which I did a YouTube short on. But I think it would also be really cute with this top that I thrifted off of ThreadUp. It's like a halter top. Well, at least that's how it was portrayed on the website. It's not a halter top, but I'm going to wear it as one because it looks way cuter as a halter top. It's actually one of those like off the shoulder things. You wear it like that. Maybe I could try it like that one day, but this, you guys will see it over here in the try on section, but this is really cute as a halter top. I've already tried it on and I think it's really cool. So two thrifted pieces come together to make a beautiful thrifted outfit and I absolutely love it so much. I have another skirt here with me, so let's keep going with that. I've got this yellow pretty, I think this is like a cottony material, but it's just a pretty simple skirt, like a longer skirt. I think this will be great for the summertime and if I'm not finding that I am wearing this thrifted skirt as a skirt very often. Maybe I could transition it into a two-piece set or a mini skirt because I do like the color and I think it could be really fun with like a white, just a basic white top or even, or even some sort of scarf that you tie up. I love this scarf. This is like a vintage Escada scarf. I have um, styled this in a number of different like top ways, you know, like how to transform a scarf into a top. Learned that on Pinterest and YouTube. YouTube and all of those but I think that this could be really fun and again shop your closet essentially so if you're not wearing something see how you can alter it figure out how you can alter it and go from there next this was a really beautiful find this beautiful whimsical feminine thrifted banana republic dress but this was brand new with tags it had all the tags it had the extra buttons and it's just such a beautiful material it's like this silky material with but I think that this will be great for many different seasons layering it or just wearing it with some beautiful accessories or belt I think that this will be 
a great piece. I was so excited when I found this dress at the thrift store. I have it all unbuttoned right now, but this is a Free People beautiful flowy skirted midi dress with white polka dots and daisies all over it. Is this not the sweetest thing? And the design, it comes up high, like right under the chest. That's where the waistline is, but it has a belt. So what I do is I kind of wrap the belt to make it at the smallest part of my waist because that's my personal preference is to highlight the smallest part of my waist. And I think it's really, really cute with some sandals, maybe a pair of heels. If I want to be really casual, a pair of sneakers, like a pair of Converse, but this, <sighs> Thrifted Free People, and honestly, when I first was thrifting, Free People was huge, and Free People dresses at the thrift store were like $40 or more. This was, I think it was like $12, and it may have been 50% off, so really great find. So this, I thrifted at a different thrift store, but this is very vintage inspired, very like 50s, 60s looking. It's kind of a faux two-piece dress, but, and I honestly, I didn't know if I would like it, but then I tried it on and the fit is just so pretty. The neckline is very feminine. And again, if I find that I'm not wearing it a lot, maybe I rework it and shorten it a little bit, but this is a really beautiful thrifted dress. The brand is Unique Vintage. So they kind of specialize in vintage style dresses. And yeah, I thrifted a lot of patterned pieces recently and honestly a lot of a lot of polka dots too. So next, another patterned dress is this vintage 90s looking. Um, it's kind of like a sheer dress with really beautiful floral pattern. It's a little big for me, but I think if I take it in at the waist, this could be fun with little black sandals or black strappy heels in the summertime. And then honestly, there's a lot of fall colors in this piece. So I feel like it could be really fun for the fall to layer, wear sweaters with it, under it, over it, lots of nice tights to pair with this and a great jacket. This could be a really versatile piece. And for this part, I'm going to do a part two because I have thrifted from other places as well. Um, so stay tuned for part two as well. But one of the last pieces I'm gonna show you in this video, I may show you one more, but probably like second to last is this Reformation zebra print dress. Thrifted this, it's in beautiful condition. It is an authentic Reformation. I've checked all the tags, made sure that it aligns with, you know, an authentic Reformation dress. And I listed this on my Depop because I didn't try it on at the thrift store, but I really liked it and it 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 doesn't fit me. It's just not my size, but I think that this would be really cute on someone else. So if you're looking for something fun to wear this summer, definitely check out my Depop because this will be waiting for you if it's still there. And last item that i'm going to show you hold on this is the best item that i thrifted one of the best items that i thrifted on one day this leather like caramel brown leather trench coat i don't know if it's real leather or if it's like a vegan leather i think i'm pretty sure that this is vintage too based on the little tag that is in the coat but it's it's so beautiful it's like that midi length trench coat style it's got the the waistband here so this is going to be great for the fall winter maybe even the springtime with a pair of jeans and a light sweater or top but so many cool finds i love all of my finds and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and honestly i appreciate you all so much every person who watches my videos you are greatly appreciated by me i've gotten a lot of new subscribers in the recent weeks, months, and I appreciate all of you so much. So if you feel so inclined and you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe and check out what I've got on my channel. Um, but otherwise, I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. And please remember to stay bold, beautiful, and brave. Don't ever forget it.